Hello and welcome to another edition of Wi-Fi Soft training videos. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to configure the LAN ports inside Unibox. As, as we have learned in our earlier sessions, uh, Unibox works as a uh, gateway device. So it, it sits between your internal network and your WAN network. So uh, in this video, we will discuss how we can configure different LAN networks inside the Unibox. So in order to configure your LAN network, first you need to go to the network section and then click on the LAN menu. In the LAN menu, you will see that there are multiple LAN profiles that, have, that you can create. In this, uh, sec in this uh, particular box, we have configured three separate LAN profiles. One is the default LAN and then we have a LAN for employees and another LAN for managers. So you can give any name of the profile and you can segregate your networks into different subnets and you can assign them to separate departments in your organization. Uh, so let's look at how we can create a new LAN profile. To create a new LAN profile, you need to click on the plus sign. A pop-up will appear and here you can give the name of your LAN profile. Let's say we give it a name called uh, new employees. Then you need to assign a IP address to this particular port. So let's take, uh, we will assign, let's say, an IP address of 10.10.20.1 and a subnet mask. So we are doing a class C network. Now, if you want to run a DHCP on this LAN profile, you need to enable the enable DHCP option. If you don't enable DHCP, then you will have to use an external DHCP server. So in order to uh, configure your DHCP, you need to define the pool size. So here you need to make sure that your pool size doesn't conflict with other networks. So in this case, since our Unibox uh, LAN profile already has an IP address of 10.10.20.1. We need to make sure that the pool size starts from 2 and goes up to 254 so that um, you will assign IP addresses to the end devices or from, the, from number 2 to 254. Uh, the other important thing you need to keep in mind is that your pool size is restricted to your subnet mask. So in this case, we have put a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. So you can technically create about 254 IP addresses in this subnet. Next, uh, we, uh, you can define the lease interval. The default is 600 seconds. And if necessary, you can also define the domain name of your profile. Once this profile is created, you need to save this profile and your profile gets saved under the LAN profiles. Now, once your LAN profiles are created, you can create any number of LAN profiles depending upon how big is your network and how you want to segregate your network. The next important step for, uh, for this configuration is to go and assign that particular LAN profile to a particular interface. So in order to do that, you need to click on interface and here you will see the number of physical ports as well as the virtual ports that have been created in your system or assigned to your system. So in this uni box, we have three physical ports, uh, ETH0, ETH1 and ETH2. ETH1 is already connected to WAN profile. So you've assigned the ETH1 to the WAN profile and ETH0 is assigned to the default LAN. Now ETH2 can be assigned to, is basically available. So you can basically define it to your newly created LAN profile. So in order to create or configure your LAN profile to a particular interface, you need to click on the, the COGS icon on the, on the operations and a pop-up will appear as you can see here. And then you will have to select the interface type as LAN. And from the drop down, you have to select the newly created network profile or the LAN profile. 
Now it is also possible that you can assign or tag the, the traffic inside this LAN profile with your with particular VLAN tags. So here you can, if you enable the VLAN tag, you can select one of the VLAN profiles that will be assigned to this particular uh, LAN subnet. So once this is done, you can go ahead and save this and your configuration will be saved and it will only get applied until you, are, you click on the apply configuration changes button. So once this is done, you will be running two separate LAN, LAN uh, subnets. There's one LAN subnet which runs on ETH0 or the first LAN port and the second LAN profile works on uh, the ETH2 which is the third LAN port available on, on your box. Depending upon the box you may have more than three uh, interfaces and you can define multiple um, LAN profiles to each of those interface. In addition to that, we, our Unibox also supports a virtual interface where you can define new interfaces. Uh, in case of virtual interface can also be used to assign to a particular LAN profile. So technically you can create unlimited LAN profiles inside Unibox and you can have each of them tagged with a separate IP scheme and a separate IP uh, assignments. So Finally, let's also cover what are VLANs, how to configure VLANs inside, inside Unibox. If you remember, you, it is possible to uh, tag both the WAN side as well as the LAN side traffic using VLANs. So you, in case of VLAN, you need to click on VLAN and then you can create a new VLAN profile. So you can give it a name called Employee VLAN and you can define the VLAN type as fixed or a particular range. If it is a range, then uh, the whole, all the, all the numbers, all, all the tags uh, should be greater than two because one has already been taken perhaps. So we can basically assign two to five as the range for this particular profile, uh, for this LAN profile. So uh, whenever the traffic uh, flows through that particular port, uh, the, ta the packets will be tagged with one of these VLAN tags. You can also define only a specific VLAN tag in which case you can, uh, you can give it a particular uh, VLAN ID and save the configuration. And uh, you have already seen how to uh, assign the VLAN tag to a particular LAN, LAN profi profile and or tag all the traffic that flows through that port. With this uh, we, uh, we conclude the session of how to configure a LAN port inside Unibox. Thank you for watching Wifersoft videos. Bye-bye.